Hello, 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 my dear student. This week, we will cover experience three, which is about conservation of energy. Energy is always a conserved quantity. The law of conservation of energy states that energy is neither created nor destroyed. It can change from one form to another, but never destroyed nor created. It is one of the most fundamental concepts in science. We will discuss it thoroughly in our classes. Then we will understand the vocabulary behind this lesson. The law for conservation of energy is that the initial energy of the system is equal to final energy of the system. What about W? Yes, you all know what's the meaning of W by now. W stands for network done on the system. So the initial energy of the system plus the work done on the system is going to equal the final energy of the system. Then a very important concept, what is the meaning of a system. We will define systems. We have different types of systems. We have the open system, we have the closed system, and the isolate, isolated system. Open system is a system that allows energy or matter. So we will be discussing the uh, uh, transformation of energy and backslash or matter. So if energy and matter can be transferred between the system and the surrounding, we call it an open system. Clear? A closed system, it allows energy, but no mass can be transferred outside the system to the surrounding. But the isolated system, nothing can move away from the system. So again, we are discussing energy and mass. An open system, both are free to come and, uh, and go. In closed system, only energy is allowed to exit. In isolated system, nothing. It's like a jail here. In, as an example, you can see the coffee pot here. This is an open system. This is a closed system. And this is an isolated system. Very easy example that you can understand. So then we will discuss the total energy of the system, which is kinetic energy plus potential energy plus elastic plus the internal energy of the system. This is a dense lesson that I expect you all to understand by the end of it. I hope you will understand it all. And if you have anything, any question, you may ask directly or come to my class. Now, we will expand the work energy theorem. As you can see here, we are writing it in more details. As you can see, also many examples that we will be uh, solving uh, through our lessons. Energy transformed within a system. How do energy transform within a system? We will explain it in details also. And then as usual, we will solve many examples here, roller coaster energy. We love roller coasters, all of us do, but there is always physics behind every natural thing that happens every day. So I hope you will enjoy this lesson as you have enjoyed the previous ones and have a good day. Goodbye.